Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. We're out here again hacking more satellite dishes. We've previously played around with the Kingdom RV dish and a couple of these little dish tailgater carryout units, along with the View Cube, which is basically the same as the dish tailgater. And now I've got an even newer one, a dish playmaker. Unlike some of my older ones, this dish is new enough that cell phones and Google Play existed when they manufactured it. Now in a previous video with the tailgater, I was able to open it up and find a USB connection there and actually send USB serial terminal commands to the dish hardware to get it to pan and tilt around, aim at different stuff. That was pretty cool. Still trying to get this sucker opened up. They make it really hard to open this. It's got these stupid security bits in there, but uh, it's really too bad because these things always look cooler on the inside than on the outside. I mean, look at that. What what kid doesn't want a satellite dish that looks like this? So as I said, this uh, WineGuard dish playmaker is a little bit newer than the Tailgater or ViewCube units, and uh, there's some newer hardware in here. It looks like it's actually got stepper motors versus just the generic motors in the other one. It does have a USB port. Um, it's got what looks like maybe a Wi-Fi antenna, and then um, looks like a little more custom uh, LNB device here that uh, goes into the feed horn. This one actually has dual output, so you can uh, have two channels, or you can feed it power through one of these and have the signal go through the other one. It also has some uh, little buttons here. It looks like reset and boot, so um, it's got some level of user interface right on the brain board here. So same as last time, I'm powering the dish with my little uh, V8 finder meter thingy. They really get the most out of these uh, coax connectors. They use it for power, for TV signal, and then sometimes for the aiming and data signals that go from the receiver back to the dish here. So then we're talking to it with the computer with this uh, double-ended USB cable. So this dish is definitely not playing as nice as the last one did on USB. It's throwing a bunch of errors and we're just not getting anything uh, usable out of it immediately the way we did with that tailgater unit. So we've struck out on doing anything easy and quick with the existing brain board on here. So one thing we can try on this Playmaker dish is to upgrade the firmware. Now, usually that would be a little counterproductive to attempting to hack it, because newer firmware usually has newer security, less prone to being screwed with over USB or serial, but I haven't gotten it to do anything with whatever firmware is on there now, so we might as well try to upgrade it to the latest one, see if that changes anything. So the files and the instructions are available on WineGuard's website, or apparently they'll sell you a USB drive for $10 with the firmware already on it, but I mean these things don't cost $10, so this is cheaper. We're supposed to hold down the boot button for two seconds, and then um, one of these LED lights is supposed to flash. If it flashes slowly, that was successful. If it flashes quickly, it was unsuccessful. All right, we've got a light over here, so it's reading from the USB drive. Okay, so this process is only supposed to take about 10 seconds total. This light is supposed to flash, and then this one is supposed to slow flash. Right now that one's stuck on, this one's fast flashing, so we're supposed to go back, turn everything off, try it again. All right, it looks like we're stuck on error code 2, which means the USB drive isn't recognized. We're trying this again with a different USB drive, and that one's not working either. So doing anything with this particular dish is kind of a bust as well. I haven't been able to get the new firmware on, the old firmware doesn't let me talk to it over USB, and I don't watch enough TV to actually keep it around as a dish. Now, it does have these nice little standard stepper motor inputs, so we could probably just pull out this entire brain, throw it away, and put a Raspberry Pi in there with a stepper motor hat, and just drive this thing the way we were driving our little rocket turret. Um, I definitely won't throw away the hardware yet. We'll stash this away, we'll continue hoarding it. Maybe we'll do something with it in the future. Okay, quick update on the Playmaker dish. I've actually now traded that away along with another dish to somebody in return for some different satellite equipment. So now we've got other stuff to mess around with. If the new owner ends up finding out more than I was able to, maybe we'll do a further update. But for now, this one's done. It was just a quick look inside that Playmaker dish wine guard unit to see what's in there and to see if we could do anything with it, which I really wasn't able to. I could have ripped out the brain, I could have put a Raspberry Pi in there, but I've got so many other projects that I just didn't want to go that far. Anyway, I hope this has been somewhat interesting and useful for somebody. We'll keep this one short, we'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.